Hey guys, it's Kat D and I'm here with an unboxing and today I'm going to be un unboxing Owl Crate. So if you guys aren't familiar with Owl Crate, I've unboxed it quite a few times on my channel. It is a monthly YA book subscription box. Um, I, uh, I might be taking a month or two off of this one just to cut some funds back because I'm doing so many trade boxes in October, it's crazy. Um, and this is kind of one of the ones that, sorry about my phone, I swear, every single time. Um, this is one of the boxes that I might be taking off a month or so, um, just because there's so many Halloween boxes I want to get, and this box doesn't actually have like a Halloween theme. Um, so I might be taking off from this box, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, it's a monthly YA book subscription box. You get one YA book every month with a whole bunch of bookish goodies. If you'd like to read like myself, then you will like this box. So after you cut the tape and you open the box, whoop! The card fell out. <laughs> this is what you're going to see, and the card was on top, like so. Okay. Alright, so I will show you the card first. It says Owl Crate, and this month's theme is Mythical Creatures. Alright, so the very first thing on top we have is a uh, pin. Ooh. And it looks like, here we go, like this. And then we have Bathel. Yep, we have Son of Poseidon. Oh, that's really cool. Son of Poseidon, Eucalyptus Tea Bath Salts. That's cool. I love when they send bath stuff. Like, I feel like tea, a bubble bath, and a book is just a nice weekend. Does that make me old? Maybe. Woo, this is such a... Pr I love when they send these wo wooden bookmarks. So it says... I am the blood of the dragon. So this looks like it's a Game of Thrones reference, maybe? Um, and it's Ink Wonder. That's very cool. It's got three dragons. Maybe it has to do with the book. I don't know. But it's beautiful. And it's by Ink Wonder. So if you like, they've put several of these bookmarks in this box before. So incredibly pretty. And then lots of stuff that can get everywhere. All right, so the next thing, oh, it looks like it's a little dragon pouch. I love this already. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. It looks like a little change purse. I love dragons. All right. So then we have a, um, it looks like it's a book holder, like you would stick your book in it. And it says book bow. I guess it's to make your book pretty, but you have mermaids and unicorns on it. That's very cool. And you put whatever book you're reading in so it doesn't get out, you know, all messed up. So if you're reading like a hardcover book and you take the dust jacket off and you can just stick the book in there. Meep, meep. All right. Of course. So we have Hagrid and Buckbeat. I'm glad I didn't miss that. That's awesome. So maybe that bookmark had to do with the book. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. This looks awesome. So this is another Owlcrate exclusive cover. Um, and like I do every month, I will put the old cover up here. And I will put um, the exclusive color up here so you can see. Well, I'll hold it up here so you can see the difference. So this month we have um, Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. It's very cool. You kind of see this tail wrapping around this beautiful girl. And uh, we have her autograph. So we're going to open this up. I love that Alcrate has started to do exclusive book covers. Um, like I mentioned previously, I loved the one that they did for Heartless. But some of the other ones they did have just been a color change. And I wish if they were exclusive, I wish they would do a little more than that. So uh, here's the um, artist's autograph. And then we have um, 
a uh, Dragons of the Fallen Isles. It's a guide, I guess, to the dragons. And on the inside you have a guide. And I think it goes to the different dragon types. And then this beautiful um, letter from the author. Alrighty. So I will get this card out and then I'll tell you what this book is about. Oh. Alright. Alright, so let's pull this book out of this flame here. Alright, it says, I should have told the truth, but I did. Praise before she ignites. A full realized fantasy world complete with dragons, treachery, and flawed characters discovering their courage. I couldn't put it down. What is that about? Alright, it says, before... Mira Minkoba is a hope bearer. Since the day she was born, she's been told she's special, important, perfect. She's known across the Fallen Isles as not just for her beauty, but for her peace treaty named after her, an agreement that united the seven islands against their enemies and the mainland. But Mira never felt perfect. She counts compulsively, she struggles with crippling anxiety, and she's far too interested in dragons for a girl for her situation. After. Then Mira discovers an explosive secret that challenges everything she and the treaty stand for. Betrayed by the people she spent her life serving, Mira is sentenced to the pit, the deadliest prison in the Fallen Isles. There's a cruel guard who would do nothing to discover the secret that she'd die to protect. No longer beholden to those who betrayed her, Mira must learn to survive on her own and unearth scorching truths about the Fallen Isles and herself before her very world collapses. Jody Mas Meadows' new Fallen Isles trilogy blazes with endangered magic, smoldering romance, and one girl's inner fire. So this is going to be a trilogy. That's awesome. So there we go. Awesome on you. Now... Let me know what you guys like best down below. And if you're interested, the theme for October is Find Me in the Forest. And then you'll receive an exclusive candle next month. I'm Kat D, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.